All right, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel, and we're heading up into the mountains to do some camping. Now, I made a little change to my setup, and we're gonna try it out for maybe a couple, three weekends, and see what we think about it. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin All right, so I just noticed something that the tent is at a pretty extreme angle going down that way, so I'm gonna be sloped all night. I think if all I did is flip the tent around 180 degrees, I'll be able to use the hinge side to adjust and get the tent more level. So this is gonna be one nice thing about the trailer uh, is it's gonna give me ability to adjust my tent to exactly how I want it so that I can have the most comfortable night's sleep possible. All right, so that looks a whole lot better. Now you can see that the tent's pretty level and there's a little bit of slope going down this way, but also a little slope that way. Pretty much creating a nice little cradle inside, which will make it so you're not feeling like you're sloping one way or the other and sliding all night long. All right, so we're up this morning and uh, we're just having some coffee. Uh, it was a pretty good night's sleep last night. Uh, really windy. I don't know if you guys noticed in the opening sequence, it was pretty, pretty windy. And it would calm down for a minute and then you just get these huge gusts that would come flying through the camp and just wail on the tent and wake you up. And then it would do that for a few minutes and then it would go back to being real calm again. You'd fall, just about the time you'd fall asleep really good again, you'd get this another huge gust come through. But in the end, it was uh, kind of a good test for the trailer because I was always kind of wondered how stable the trailer would feel if it wasn't connected to the pickup and it was really windy like that and the trailer did great i was really happy with it i never felt like there was an issue it felt sturdy all night long so but i got here kind of late last night and i was really tired and i kind of rushed getting the camp set up and i'm not really happy as i kind of woke you know get up this morning and i was really kind of frustrated with it last night and i ended up just going to bed early around eight o'clock that's why there wasn't much filming last evening 
but I've kind of got up and I've, you know, now with the fresh eyes, I've kind of looked at the camp and, and looked at how I've got the truck set up and everything. And I think I'm gonna move some things around and see if I can make this camp work a little better for me this morning. Well, I tell you what, that is smelling super good. I'm super hungry. It's already, I think, running on 11. But I do have the camp all reset back up, which is great, and I think this makes a lot more sense having it set up the way I do. Everything's a lot closer and easier to access, and I don't feel like I'm running all over the place like I did last night. I haven't actually set up the awning yet at this point because I do plan on running around today and see if I can find a cool spot to take a sunset photo. And that's really the main reason why I'm looking at the trailer in the first place is a lot of times I show up to a place late like I did last night. If I'm not familiar with the area, I'd like to be able to have the ability to run around in my truck. Or even in some situations, I find a place that has a really cool spot to shoot a sunset photo, but there's just not a good spot to camp in that location. And I'd like to have the ability to uh, set up a camp in the general area and then be able to drive to that spot. Again, a lot of times I'm shooting sunrise or sunset photos, so I'm either getting up before light and going out and shooting, or I'm not coming back to camp till after dark. So it just makes it a lot easier if I have a camp that's already ready to go so I can just get up in the morning, jump in the truck and go, or be able to come back to a pre-set uh, pre up camp later and not have to come back and set up in the dark or tear down in the dark to try to get to uh, the location where I want to shoot. We've driven off from camp a little ways. Actually, uh, we're probably a good five or six miles from camp. And we're at a location that I scouted a few months ago. And I really liked it, but the conditions weren't right for the shot. So I came back here tonight, hoping that maybe the conditions will be right tonight. If they're not, uh, I won't shoot it. We'll just uh, I'll just come back to the truck, pack up, and head back to camp for the night. I did find on my way out here, I found a potential shot for tomorrow morning that uh, we'll try if this one doesn't work out. All right, things just didn't materialize up there. Uh, the clouds rolled in, pretty much snuffed out any light from the uh, sunset, and also covered completely covered up the mountain that I was hoping to get in the background. But uh, that's all right. I do think that there's really a potential to get a good shot here, just not today. But this is a fairly close to home area. Like it only takes me about an hour and a half to get here, so there's going to be lots of opportunities for me to try to get this shot again. So right now. I'm just gonna pack up, head back to camp, get a fire going, get a glass of Pendleton poured, and all will be right with the world. Thank you. 
I woke up the next morning to a beautiful sunrise that was quickly snuffed out by cloud cover. So I decided I would pass on the photograph I had planned for the morning and instead enjoyed some time around the camp before packing it up and heading home. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed already, I really encourage you to do so. I upload a video like this every Saturday morning. Also, please give the video a thumbs up. And of course, I always appreciate the comments and I'll see you again outside.